Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to make Ubuntu 23.04 full screen in virtual box. If you are still wondering how to install Ubuntu 23.04 or the latest version of Ubuntu, you can follow one of my another video. I have kept the link to that video in the description of this video. Now, this is my virtual machine which is running on Ubuntu and if you focus here on the right bottom corner you can see we have this video icon if you right click on it then you can see we have this virtual screen one and from here you'll observe we have a lot of options to resize or change the resolution they are not accessible they are inactive so let's see how to make those options active and how we can change the resolution as well as increase the performance and efficiency of the virtual machine so and for that we are going to install guest editions so anyways first of all i will just turn off my virtual machine so just switch it off now once it is switched off you need to open your virtual box manager and then click on your virtual machine then click on settings all right now we will go through these tabs one by one and we'll see if there is any option that we need to change so let's first click on system and here i will suggest you to keep at least a ram of 6 gb if you have sufficient ram in your computer to spare and also make sure you are well within this green boundary don't try to cross this boundary when you are allocating ram but anyways 4 gb of ram is a good amount or is or it's a sufficient amount of ram for ubuntu and then you can untick this floppy device because it's not needed and optical and hard disk can be left there all right then click here on the processor tab and here as well i will suggest you to keep at least two processor cores but if you have multiple processor cores in your host computer then you can allocate more than two you can allocate three or four but here also try to be in the green area don't try to cross this boundary all right then after that click on this display tab and then you will find this video memory i want you to increase this video memory to the maximum possible here which is 128 mb and that is all after that i just want you to click on ok and close the settings all right now you can start your virtual machine once again now once your virtual machine boots up i just need you to log in into your account now once your operating system boots up completely you can just click here on devices just click on this menu devices and then scroll to this option that reads insert guest editions cd image now after you click on that option you will notice that one cd-rom has been inserted into your operating system and also you may receive one dialog box like this vbox guest edition 7.0.8 now if you want to run it from here you can just click on run but i'll suggest you not to run from here it's better if we run this software in terminal so that we can take care of the errors so i'll just click here on cancel and also for some people it may happen that after they click on insert cd image of guest editions that dialog box may not appear and people might think that nothing has happened and they might click on this insert guest editions again and again but you may notice that clicking on that option over and over again is not going to change anything and they may not get any message also so they may think that there is an error with the guest operating system but there is nothing like that this cd-rom is going to be mounted and uh, let's open this cd-rom and let's check out the content of the guest edition and from here you can see we have the guest editions installation file for different operating systems for example this is the guest edition setup file for linux anyways we are supposed to run this file that reads vbox linux editions.run so i'll just close this box all right and let's open up terminal the shortcut for terminal is control plus alt plus t 
all right now the first command that i want you to run is sudo space apt hyphen get space update and hit enter now this command is used to download package information from all configured sources then after that you should run sudo space apt hyphen get space upgrade and hit enter and then just type y and hit enter in simple words it is used to upgrade already installed packages to the latest version so just type y and hit enter now once this process is over uh, just type sudo space apt hyphen get space install space build essential space gcc and space make space perl space dkms and then hit enter and then just type y and hit enter now this build essential packages are the form of meta packages that are essential to compile software then gcc stands for gnu compiler collection and it is a compiler system for the various programming languages after that we have make which compiles different program pieces and builds a final executable then perl is a high level interpreted general purpose programming language and finally we have dkms which stands for dynamic kernel module support then after that we have to install the guest edition so for that i will type find mnt because i want to copy this path right then after that we have to run the guest editions installer so just type sudo then paste the path of the guest editions and then forward slash and then we have to write the name of the setup file which is vbox linux editions dot run and then just hit enter then here we just have to type yes and the installation has begun then after that once the installation is over we just have to restart the computer and by computer i mean the guest operating system so just type sudo space reboot now once your system has finished rebooting you can click here on this video memory icon you can just right click on it and then hover over this option virtual screen 1 and then you can notice that all these options to change the resolution are now active so depending on the highest possible resolution allowed by your display you can choose the resolution from here since my display is a full hd display so i am going to choose this option that is 1920 by 1080 and then you can notice that i have the full screen display now but we are getting these scroll bars because of the reason we have this menu bar and the title bar if we click here on view and then click here on full screen mode then you can notice there are no scroll bars anymore and we have a perfect full hd display and also the performance has increased a lot i can feel that just by the way my mouse pointer is moving it's so smooth now anyways that's all for this video and if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching